Hey everyone, welcome to Elevate Church Online. I'm Miss Emily. Today we're going to be in a prayer, so repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for this wonderful day you've given us, for allowing us to come to church online. Help us learn a lot today, and that we may be able to go and tell others about you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so now let's get ready to worship Jesus.
angel came to see Mary. She was doing laundry, and then the angel just appeared, and she was really scared. So Gabriel was like, Mary, you're going to have, what? I can't, I can't say good. Mary, you're going to have a baby. I, you're going to have a baby, and you will call him Jesus. And then Mary was like, I'm not going to have a baby yet. I'm only a teenager. I'm not married. Then the angel Gabriel told Joseph that Mary is not lying. She, you are having a new baby. And so they met up. They went to Bethlehem, which was Joseph's old town. They ride a donkey. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. A camel. Oh yeah, a camel. She said, this donkey's fast. Well, they tried to go to a hotel and they asked the keeper um, for a place to stay. The keeper said, we have no rooms, literally no rooms. <laughs> so Mary and Joseph walked away sadly, but then he said, the only place in here in Bethlehem hand that, that you can stay, stay is a staple. And then he just pointed the way and they the best baby I ever seen. There, I said it. <laughs> God's story, Christmas. So part of God's story is about when Jesus the rescuer was born. We call it Christmas and it begins like this. Hundreds of years before the great rescue, God told a prophet named Isaiah that the rescuer would be born to a woman and would take the punishment for all the wrong things in the world. When that rescuer was finally born, it was God's own son, Jesus. And God did some crazy stuff to make it clear that Jesus was the one everyone had been waiting for. First off, an angel named Gabriel appeared to Mary to tell her she was going to be Jesus' mom. Angels don't usually tell moms when they're going to have babies. Then, when Mary was pregnant with Jesus, she visited her cousin Elizabeth, who was pregnant with a baby who would grow up to be John the Baptist. As soon as Mary said hello, Elizabeth felt baby John jump for joy in her belly. Babies can't even sit up, let alone jump. So Elizabeth knew that Mary's baby wasn't just anyone. After a few months, Mary and her husband Joseph left Nazareth and traveled to Bethlehem, where Jesus was born. Not in the hospital, but somewhere outside, probably with a bunch of animals around. Then, more angels appeared, this time to some shepherds. They sang, glory to God. Sometimes parents send out a card or an email to announce their kid's birth. Jesus was announced by angels. You know what else happened when Jesus was born? A new star appeared. We don't know exactly what the star looked like, but we do know that some guys we call wise men started a long journey following it to find Jesus. Sometimes friends and family visit new babies. These men were total strangers who knew Jesus' life was going to be important. Well, while the wise men were traveling, Jesus' parents took him to the temple. He was a little over a month old by now. This guy named Simeon was there too and he had waited for the rescuer his whole life. The Holy Spirit had told Simeon that he would meet the rescuer before he died. When Simeon met little baby Jesus, he said, Lord, you are king over all. That's a pretty strange thing to say to a baby. But Simeon knew for sure, this was the rescuer he had been waiting for. Meanwhile, the wise men were still traveling. They'd stopped to see if the ruler, Herod, knew where Jesus was. But it turned out Herod didn't want to see Jesus. He wanted to kill him. Usually, rulers aren't threatened by teeny tiny babies. But Herod realized Jesus was a big deal. Now, Herod wasn't going to stop God's plan. So the wise men had a dream where God warned them not to tell Herod where they found Jesus. And they didn't. Then, God sent an angel to Joseph in a dream and told him how to escape. So Herod couldn't find them. And Joseph moved his family in the middle of the night right when God told him to. Later on, God sent Joseph two more dreams, one to tell him Herod had died, another to tell him to take his family to Nazareth. So Joseph did, and that's where Jesus grew up. The rescuer had finally come, and angels, jumping babies, new stars, old men, total strangers, jealous rulers, and dreams were just a few ways God showed us that Jesus was the rescuer. And that's the story of Christmas. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. An angel appeared. Baby jumped. Angels sang to shepherds. A new star appeared. Wise men followed it. Herod wanted to kill Jesus. God kept him safe. Joseph had a dream. He moved. He had two more dreams. He moved again. 
The rescuer had come. It's Jesus. And that's a part of God's story. We've been talking about how to make our life His story. And the first step in doing that is by making Jesus the Lord of your life. When you choose to give your life to Jesus, you become a part of God's family. If you've never done that before, I want to give you a chance right now. Simply say this prayer out loud after me. Believe what you say with all your heart and you will become a part of God's family. Say this after me. Dear God, I believe you sent Jesus to die for me. And I believe you raised him from the dead. Jesus, I make you my Lord. You are number one in my life. Amen. Great job. You are now a part of God's family. If you're asking the question, what do I do now? There are two things that you need to do. First, you need to tell somebody. If you know someone that loves Jesus, tell them. They'd love to celebrate with you. Second, ask your parents to take you to church. One of the best ways for you to know Jesus is by learning about Him at church. If you still want to learn more... Happy holidays, everyone. This is your friends, Group One Crew. Sending you a Merry Christmas. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And when you walk down the street, say hello to friends you Christmas.